Now with Amy's exclusive interview, you sat down with Ted Bundy's girlfriend and her daughter. That's right, George, and they are speaking out on camera for the very first time. They're talking in decades about life with Bundy, and the moment they realized the man they thought they knew, the man they loved, wasn't that man at all. It was the story that captivated the nation. Ted Bundy, the notorious serial killer who admitted to kidnapping and murdering dozens of women across the country in the 1970s. During that time, living a double life with his unsuspecting girlfriend, Liz Kendall, and her young daughter, Molly. You were a single mom. You went out to that bar and you saw a handsome man. Tell me about when you first met Ted Bundy. Well, I was pretty smitten right from the get-go. I saw him sitting at the table, and I went over and talked to him because I told him he looked lonely. Is it fair to say, at least at first, that Ted Bundy was a gentleman? Oh, completely. Put a lot of energy into making us happy, doing fun things. My parents loved him. He was just really it, in my opinion. And I really wanted to marry him. That relationship now chronicled in the new Amazon docuseries, Ted Bundy, Falling for a Killer. She was sick of the story focusing on Ted, was sick of the victims not being portrayed as fully formed human beings. Liz and Molly opening up to filmmakers for the first time about their connection to the killer, sharing never before seen pictures and videos. And Ted started acting differently towards me. He laid down his head on my lap and just sobbed. He told me that he had to tell me something that I would probably be shocked about. Kendall, who wrote about her suspicions about Bundy in the book The Phantom Prince, discussed the moment co-workers showed her a sketch of a murder suspect they thought resembled her boyfriend. And there was just something about the jawline or something like that that made me think, wow, this is really weird. Did you think he was capable of murder? No. I mean, I still believed he was innocent at that point. But their belief in his innocence would eventually fade. Liz remembers signs of Bundy's dark side. Looking back, obviously hindsight is 2020. Were there any red flags? We had been rafting down a very cold river. I was sitting on the edge of the raft and he pushed me in just quite violently. I grabbed a hold of the rope that was dragging behind the raft so that I could get back in, but his eyes were so, they just got really weird looking and it was like he couldn't see me anymore. You saw his eyes change. Absolutely. The murder I think that you felt most connected to was Bundy's last murder, an abduction of a 12 year old, Kimberly Leach, because you were 12. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to find words for how devastating it is, the loss of this girl and the things that he did to her. I know you've asked yourself this a million times. Why do you think he spared you? Whatever transpired at the beginning of his interaction with my mother put her in a different category. And I think our placement in his life kept us safe. People knew he was involved with us. Yeah, so Liz and Molly say eerily the reason why they think they're still alive to tell this story is because he knew if he did anything to them, the finger would be pointed directly at him and he wouldn't be allowed to keep on with his killing spree and he had a compulsion they really believed to just you can see how it ramped up it was um, something horrific to witness and yet at the same time you don't want to believe the unthinkable about someone who you love who you've had in your home mm -hmm. sleeping there with your little girl what a thing to live with all these years it is a lot to live with and they struggle with the the guilt of it and the shame of it of, of not knowing but she did call police multiple times she did she did and the police cleared him no one wanted to believe someone who looked like that who acted like that was capable of something mm, that was part of it yeah, yeah. you're gonna have much more aren't you we are ted bundy right. falling for a killer is available on amazon prime video and we're gonna have much more on this story tonight on 2020 and on Ooh. nightline oh gosh thank you amy Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.